Hey friends, Isaac here. It's Tuesday, March 22nd. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Kevin is a best-selling author, international speaker, and global brand publisher. He's the founder and executive director of Global Hope India and the CEO of Spirit Media. As a serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of churches, businesses, and nonprofits throughout the world. Today, Kevin is joined by Temsala Bass of Nashville, North Carolina. Temsala is a sister in Christ, friend, and board member for Global Hope India. Put your hands together and let's welcome Kevin and Temsala to today's show. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Living the Dream Show. I'm Pastor Kevin White, founder and executive director of Global Hope India and CEO of Spirit Media. And I'm so excited for today's episode. It's a continuation of what we started last week. Today is March the 22nd, and we are Mm -hmm. looking at Joshua 1-9. And I am so thankful for my co-host, Timsala Bass from Nashville, North Carolina. She was made and born in India. In but, India. <laughs> yeah, but we happen to share the same state of North Carolina at the moment. How are you today? I'm doing good. And how are you, Kevin? I'm doing well. Thank you. We welcome everyone on YouTube. If you're watching, thank you for peeking in on today's episode. And if you are listening in, wherever podcasts can be heard, uh, I ensure you, you are not listening by accident. God has a great word for you. We're actually breaking mm-hmm. the part of Joshua 1.9 down. Last week we talked about do not, I mean, it says be strong and be courageous. Mm-hmm. And what a powerful word that is. I encourage you to go back and listen to the January 15th episode if you happen to miss that. But today on March the 22nd, we're actually going to just look at four words. Do not be afraid. Powerful words. Uh, words that we can listen to every time we go to church and then and then we leave church and all of a sudden life happens and now we're afraid again. And so mm-hmm. how do we actually follow these instructions? Because this is Almighty God speaking to Joshua. And he is the same God. He's not going to tell Joshua, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, and then tell you and I, um, okay, it's 2022. I didn't realize all this was going to happen with with all of this <laughs> turmoil around the world. So you might as yes. well just break loose with a bunch of fear. He's not mm. going to do that. Today, you and I can rest assured he's still guiding lovingly with the instructions, do not be afraid. Afraid. Timsala, break that down because we really mm. want it to, by the time we end the episode, we want this to be very practical for everyone in the yes. audience. Last week we talked about how God commands us, have I not commanded you? Mm-hmm. It's uh, the same thing that I mentioned last week about how God is saying, am I not telling you? Am I not promising you that, you know, I'm not just telling you to be strong and be of good courage but I'm telling you not to be afraid because why God mentions be not, do not be afraid because he knows that our human tendency is, our first tendency is to be afraid Mm -hmm. and be scared when we are faced with things. One thing that comes to our mind is to be afraid. And God is telling us not to be afraid. Why? Because he is in control. Mm-hmm. He's saying that, you know, I know what is going to happen. I know the beginning of the story. I know the end of the story because I am the author. I am the perfecter. I know how things are going to work out. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm telling you not to be afraid. Mm-hmm. I'm the end. Yeah. And so don't be afraid. And that's mm-hmm. the thing that God is telling us to is to trust in him. You know, just recently, my my daughter had a surgery and... Mm when she was about to go in she was really afraid Mm -hmm. she was getting nervous about all the things that was going to happen and you know her imagination was uh getting worse and worse Mm -hmm. she was imagining all kinds of things and we were just sitting down talking and praying and the as a parent 
whether it's a big surgery or minor surgery, we always also have this. We don't know what the unknown is going to be. And that's what we fear the most is the unknown. What is going to happen? What is the outcome going to be? But I had such, you know, as we were praying, I had this peace that, you know what? God knows the end. And that's all that matters. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to, you know, give in to fear because the fear is from the enemy and not from God. Mm -hmm. And we were talking and she had such a peace about it when she finally went in. And Mm. uh, when she came out, her thing, her comment was like, mom, the doctors are so nice. They give you Mm. all this the shots to make you feel so good (laughs) Mm -hmm. and even the nurses after you are done they give you ice cream who does not want to come here (laughs) and you know the Mm -hmm. the outcome was better than what she had expected or Mm -hmm. she thought about and that's the same thing you know i'm not saying that in everyday situation that's how it's going to be but whether we live in this world or whether god calls us home either way The outcome, when we trust in God, the outcome is far better than what we are thinking. And that's Mm -hmm. one of the reasons why God is promising us to not be afraid. Why? Because I'm the end. I know how it's all going to end. So because I know it, that's why I'm giving you this promise that Mm -hmm. you should not be afraid. Mm -hmm. Don't let the enemy deceive you into letting your life you know, living your life in fear that you don't get to enjoy all the blessings that God has in store for you. And so I I just want to share that, you know, to trust in God, not to be afraid that he has the best interest Mm -hmm. for all of us and that he knows what he is doing and he knows how it's going to end. The only thing that we have to do is believe in that promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kevin, what about you? Yeah. I'm so thankful for a heavenly parent that assures us like this. One of the favorite hymns growing up from a rural country church um, was the hymn, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Jesus is Mine. Yeah. And that's what God is offering us through this passage I want to make clear, we are not here acting as if fear doesn't happen. Tim is is not uh, suggesting that God is waiting to scold us if we feel fear. <laughs> I'm yes. not suggesting that. Let's just all agree, everyone in the audience, hold up your right hand if you have ever been afraid. Every one of us, yes, afraid of us. happens but it doesn't have to stick. That's what God is saying. Fear happens, but it doesn't have to become a character. It doesn't have to characterize your life. You should have authority over your fear instead of fear having authority over you because Mm. of Almighty God. Now, apart Mm -hmm. from Him, we would be doomed. We would have no confidence of any type of blessed assurance, but because of Him, we have a Heavenly Father that is basically taking what you and I would appreciate a mom would do if a child hears a crack of thunder outside their home. A mom or a dad would look at that child who is now very unnerved because it sounds like a bomb blast to them, and they think, my house is going to fall down on top of me. Mm. The mom or dad would immediately reassure them that is a storm and we are protected by the house. Now, obviously, Mm. unfortunate things happen with tornadoes and tsunamis and all kind of different natural disasters. But most of the time when we hear thunder outside, it doesn't impact us inside, but it can create a sense of fear. However, we don't have to stay there. As soon as that thunder is gone and the parent uh, reassures the child, you are safe. Do not be afraid. That Mm. child now has a choice. Am I going to trust mom and dad or am I going to give in to my fear? 
and go hide under my bed for the rest of my life. Each of you and I, all of us, we have similar choices in how we process Ooh. fear and what we do with them. When God is saying, do not be afraid, he's not saying you are wrong to, to be afraid. He's saying, don't stay there. It mm-hmm. would be wrong for you to stay there with me having authority over your life. And, and so exchange your fear for the presence of God. That's, mm-hmm. what, yeah. that's what God is really inviting us to do, to exchange our fear. Fear happens, afraid happens, but we mm-hmm. can exchange it for the presence of God. He is not afraid of thunder. He is not mm-hmm. afraid of a tornado. Even... Now, this may sound uh, somewhat morbid, is what I'm trying to say, but he says in his word, why fear man who can destroy the body, but not the soul? Fear God who can destroy both. Mm -hmm. One of the primary subjects of fear is death. But if you and I have been born again of the Lord Jesus Christ, that fear of death is gone. Now, you can still allow it to control you if you choose, but because of Jesus, there's no more fear of judgment, Mm. fear of death. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. God forbid a tornado destroy our house and take us to heaven, but if it does, we're going to heaven. Mm -hmm. And -hmm. so there's really no more subject of fear because of Christ. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying run into a crowded intersection and get run over. I'm not saying blow up a piece of dynamite holding in in your hand. God's given us wisdom, not stupidity. But we don't Mm -hmm. have to be afraid of what we can't control. That's the whole point. Yes. Yeah. Any final words? I mean, yeah. it's the same thing like how Peter before, during the crucifixion, he was afraid. Mm Mm-hmm. And that's something that we all go through. Mm -hmm. And yet, you know, you would think that, oh, he was fearful and God is not going to use him anymore. That's what we would think. Mm -hmm. But no, because of his obedience, he did not let himself stay in that fearful situation. But what happens is you see in Acts how he was, he just became a different person. That instead of living in fear, he began to live with boldness. For Christ, not that we become bold to do the wrong thing, but be bold to do the right thing. Yeah. Be bold to walk in the right path. Mm-hmm. Be bold to love God passionately the way He intends you to be. Mm-hmm. And God is there to, He promises, just like in Isaiah, He talks about, you know, Isaiah 41, verse 10. Mm. Fear not, because He knows that we are going to be afraid. Mm-hmm. Why would the word of God keep saying, fear not, do mm-hmm. not be afraid? It's because we are human and we, mm-hmm. God knows that we are going to be afraid. Mm-hmm. And so this is an assurance that he's giving us saying that I know you are going to be afraid. And so I'm telling you, I'm going to be with you. Don't be afraid, mm-hmm. you know, overcome your fear. And for I am with you, be not dismay, dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you mm. with my righteous right hand. Yes. And those are the promises mm-hmm. that God gives us constantly that I'm going to be there. I will strengthen you. I will do this. I will do that. That's what God is promising us. Mm. And so let's not put up our hands and say, no, God, I can do this on my own. Mm-hmm. I will handle my life. You know, you stay over there and let me handle it myself. Mm-hmm. Not like that, but you know, surrendering surrendering our life to god and not be afraid you know sometimes when we are afraid of of uh, man and not of god that's when we go in the wrong directions mm-hmm. but instead of being afraid of man take in the promises of god of saying do not be afraid and being courageous and not be afraid to follow god to follow his word what he commands us and, you know, standing in the word and not being afraid to proclaim that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And he is your master and saying that if I live, like Paul said, I live for Christ. Mm-hmm. If I die, it's going to be again. Mm-hmm. And so let's live in that, 
you know, being courageous. Let's not be afraid. That's what uh, I just wanted to encourage all of us, me including, and my family, all of us, because we live in a very uncertain time. And let us not live in that fear of uncertainty, but know without a shadow of doubt that God knows the end. He yes. is the one that has written the story from the beginning to the end. He knows the end part of it. Mm -hmm. And so let us trust him yes. that he knows what is the ending part of the story and let Amen. us not live in fear. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. The word actually says fear not 365 times. And there happens to be 365 days in, in yes. our calendar. <laughs> and so there's a fear not for every single day. It's important that you and I hear these words. Do not be afraid. be afraid as a loving instruction, as an authoritative promise over our life. This is the live in the dream show. It's not live in the nightmare show. And, <laughs> and the way to fulfill Revelation 7, 9 through 12 is to hear our heavenly father's words. As he says, do mm. not be afraid. Be it afraid. is fear that will keep us from asking the foreigner um, in the office or in the neighborhood for their name and knowing how we can understand their heritage and love them and serve them and be the gospel to them. And so let there be no fear in our lives. It's not a, it's not a sin to get afraid, but it could be a deterrent to become characterized by fear. Uh, that is not what God has provided for you and I. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free, yes. not for fear. So do not be afraid. Right. Well, we are continuing next week will be March the 29th and we're continuing in Joshua 1, 9 as we take a look at do not be discouraged. Do not mm -hmm. be, discouraged. be discouraged. I invite you all back next week for the Live in the Dream Show. God bless you all. Three billion people still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Just how many is three billion people? It takes one second to say hello to one person. If you wanted to greet three billion people, it would take you 100 years of saying hello nonstop. Global Hope India has been empowering local churches throughout India to provide access to Jesus to the one billion unreached souls in India. You can make a difference now at globalhopeindia.org. That's globalhopeindia.org. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Visit kevinwhite.us and join thousands of subscribers to Kevin's free daily one-minute motivation series called Generously Blessed. Generously Blessed. Kevin's books Audacious Generosity and Get to the Point are available in hardback, paperback, ebook, and audiobook at kevinwhite.us, worldwide on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and everywhere books are sold. Your five-star review on Amazon will be greatly appreciated. This has been Living the Dream with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favourite podcast player. And never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International Incorporated. All rights reserved. Each week, we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.